Hi mate, how you going? So I don't know if you noticed, but most of the junk I got is like really stinking old, mate. Like they didn't make that thing yesterday, let me tell you. Like even symbols, everything, mate. Everything's ancient. Like I don't buy new drums very often, except in there. Yeah, mate, she's a Ludwig. It's pretty special. So like my Anderson Pack, hey, like great vocalist, mate. And like I, I had no idea that he's like you know. An amazing drummer as well, and then like you'd be lucky to do like one thing that he does, but no, he he does both at the same time, and it's an incredible show of musicianship, mate. That's actually incredible, mate. He's on the front cover of Modern Drummer in 2019. I I I did I didn't know. And mate, the Silk Sonic project with Bruno Mars, like heaps fun. I love it. I mean, God, to see a vintage Ludwig drum kit in like a modern mainstream thing, it's so good. It's nice to see acoustic instruments being used again. But mate, like old mate. Pax teamed up with old mate Luddy, and he's released a signature snare drum, and that's what's in here. Only 250 are made, and as soon as it hit, I, I had to pre-order one, and yes, it has been sitting in this box this whole time. Oh, oh, oh new Ludwig. Oh, I love this old school looking warranty card, and I swear they have never changed these keys. Yeah, November last year, <laughs> she's been hanging around a little bit. Whoa, that's old school. This really looks like a 1970s like pamphlet, I like it. But my, it's what's hiding in here. This is the, oh yeah. <gasps> I see it. Yeah, it's gold and paisley. I love paisley. Ooh! Ooh! Hey, I didn't know Evans teamed up, mate. I love that because I'm an Evans guy. Although this is a G1, so it's a one-ply head. I'm going to bash this out of oblivion in like 10 minutes. Oh, golly goodness. That is lovely. <laughs> I love all the tiny details, mate. You got a, like a hot hat there, mate. And you got some maracas there, mate. And you got flowers and bits, eh? Hey? Oh, look, they're little tambourines. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yeah, look, it's got its like, own bespoke plaque on it, basically. Yes, Lord. Ah, oh, what a beauty. Mr. Pack, your legend. So... A little bit of real talk in here, mate, because, yeah, she's a beaut. What it is, if you take all the, the fancy, lovely Paisley and, like, you know, brass die-cast hoops and all that stuff, so, right, you know, you strip it down, mate, it's a Ludwig Classic Maple Snap. Right, it's like you know, a, a very standard snare. It's like seven ply maple, you know, classic. They've been doing it for ages. I mean, yeah, nice hardware. Oh, no wrong with that. What about the butt? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's all right, isn't it? Basically, it's a Ludwig classic maple snare that's been dressed up like this. And that's actually an amazing thing, because what that means is this is a 14 by 6.5 Ludwig classic maple snare professional made in America that's going to last me the rest of my days, and you could tune this to do any music that you want. <laughs> that's why I had to get it. I didn't have one of these. I didn't have a proper full-size classic maple Ludwig snare drum and I'm like, this is my chance, and this is such a ripper. Hey, look, check this out. Oh, I'm walking away from that, mate, because he also had a limited edition drum mat. <laughs> I love that face. It's it's perfect. It's it's living in the 70s section, mate. It fits in really good. Oh, look, it's fun. It's got all the same stuff in it. Oh, and fluff and lint and crap. A lot of you have probably noticed that I don't talk about drums heaps on the drum thing. Weird, right? I'm more into cymbals <laughs> because, I don't know, you have to hammer the sound into them and then that's it. That's how they sound. Drums, you just change it. You can just fix it. So this has got a G1 on it, which is a really, really thin, like really thin drum skin. What if, <laughs> dug this out of the pile, what if we put a heavy weight on it? This is the chonkest of chonks. This is so thick, it's at least two layers thick. See that thing in the center? Yeah, it's like a big metal patch. Uh, well, like, the, the one that I actually want to put on, I feel really bad for it because I'm going to beat the pants out of it and probably destroy it. But it's called a calf tone. It's meant to look just like a calfskin one and the same kind of texture to it. It's, it's neat. Okay, that's my favorite. Apple bottom jeans, boots 
I done gave that calf turn a hot supper. Sorry, old mate. You still sound alright. It's a bit out of tune. <laughs> cha -cha -cha. I'm a cha -cha -cha Everybody think I'm cute. Oh, so in conclusion, mate, it's a killer drum. It is so stinking good. It's a maple classic, of course. And oh, that calf tone looks so good. But uh, I, mm, it's hard to make out, but I, I, that is full of dents. And I blame my beloved Sweet Rides with those little itty bitty tips. They sound so good on cymbals, but they, they chomp at the drum heads. It looks really good with my old 80s recording customs. And you see, like, you just put different drum heads if you just want the drums to sound different. I wanted the floor tom fatter, so I put an onyx on it. But yeah, I can see this being the, uh, the stream snare for a little while now. Love your work, Anderson.